why DeFi might be safer than traditional finance transparency, over collateralization and automation all make decentralized finance dramatically different from traditional services. That might mean there are fewer systemic risks, or just that there are entirely new risks. By Michael J. Casey Layer 2 Yule 22, 2022 at 5.50 p.m. At B. Michael J. Casey Layer 2 Yule 22. 2022 at 5.50 p.m. Utk there are two questions of acute relevance I want to try to answer in the wake of the latest crypto market retreat. First, is decentralized finance more trustworthy and robust than conventional financial services? And second, are some DeFi systems more stable than others? Those questions became newly weighty as a wave of loan defaults and insolvencies in recent weeks hit centralized lending platforms like Celsius Network and Voyager Digital. Those entities sometimes leveraged DeFi rhetoric and, in Celsius' case, deployed customer funds to DeFi systems with extremely mixed results. Three Arrows Capital, arguably the typhoid Mary of this year's crypto contagion, had major exposure to the Luna, LUNA, token and to roused, UST, algorithmic stablecoin, a fatally flawed system based on some DeFi principles. For a thorough description of these relationships, see my recent account of the Great Crypto Unwind. At the same time, more reputable DeFi systems have held up better than centralized lenders in the downturn. While their volumes and yields have declined sharply, systems like the Uniswap Exchange, Aave Lending System and Dai Stablecoin have continued to function smoothly. Most importantly, the systems haven't been destabilized by huge losses from loan defaults or follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.